Hi guys, welcome back. So this month's writing review book is a book that you might have never heard of. It's a more obscure one, but it's still a classic when it comes to writing instruction books. So it's called Writing Down the Bones and it was written by Natalie Goldberg, who is a writer, poet and also writing instructor. The book is a bit of a mixture between addressing writing mindsets and giving some practical instructions on getting started. Most of the book is really focused on writing practice, on making writing a ritual and going a bit more into the topics of struggling with getting started, how to get started and so on. If you are looking for books that are very instrumental in terms of techniques and processes like Anatomy of Story was for example, but this is definitely not the book for you. This book is really more about when you want to read about writing, about making writing more of a mindfulness thing and the practice and the hobby and so on. And also if you are looking for maybe a bit more obscure tips when it comes to your writing and not just straight up method and process. Since I am a very functionally oriented person when it comes to processes and techniques and stuff, when I first got this book about 10 years ago or so, I couldn't really make much sense of it. But now reading through it again, there is a lot of stuff in here that I now know better how to adapt than I would have when I first started getting interested in writing. Like I said, this is not necessarily the book to get started on when you're looking for clear advice on specific problems. This is more of a book that it's less instruction and more inspiration, if that makes sense. That being said, there are some things in here that I find very practically applicable that I want to go through today. So as always, three things that I want to highlight that I want to implement in the sense of either a tool, a technique, a process or an example. So the first thing that I want to highlight is what I would categorize as a process. It's a bit of an instruction on how to practice your writing. It's a good starting point for when you don't necessarily know what you want to write in a specific session and also a way to get out of your own head when it comes to what it is that you're writing. So the session basically goes like this. The instruction is that you have a timed writing session. It's all about writing non-stop, so no stopping, no breaks. You don't edit, you don't think about it, you don't cross out stuff. And whenever you come across something that is weird or strange or makes you feel uncomfortable or whatever, you dig into that deeper. So it's really about getting over this whole blockage of thinking about what it is that you're writing and self-censoring and really getting into the habit of writing maybe shockingly, disgustingly bad stuff that gives you a way to feel more loose in what it is that you're writing. So that is something that you can apply either when you are feeling stuck in a specific situation. So for example, if you have like a specific scene that you want to write, but you feel stuck. So in my case, that would be, for example, if I know I have sort of kind of like a climactic horror scene in mind but I don't really know how to describe the monster or the horror setting and I'm no good with description and stuff. That's the sort of thing that would block me from writing that and in that case you could use this sort of process to basically make it a bit of like say 10 minutes where it's all about writing that specific scene without editing, without thinking, going into the shockingly disgusting details, whatever gets you to feel more loose with just writing it down and then either use some of the stuff that you wrote or just feel at ease that you wrote the worst version and now you can get started with actually writing the scene. So that's one way of using it or another way could be if you like to do writing sessions where you have like daily or weekly or whatever practice just to keep in the flow. That is something that you could do where you do more of a discovery writing session. You don't really have a goal in mind to sit down to write down about something that is bothering you in that moment and you go again with you write without stopping you write without editing you go into the uncomfortable areas specifically on purpose and it's all about really just loosely writing the second thing that i want to highlight is something that i would categorize as a technique that i've started to do more and more because i discovered that i struggle when I don't do it. And basically what it is, is don't come to the page with an idea in mind. And 
What is meant is that sometimes you have like those really vivid scenes that start flowing and you start narrating in your own head, right? And you go like through the entire scene, you have like the dialogue and everything, and then you want to sit down to write it and you don't remember it or it doesn't come out right anymore. Or sometimes I even have this thing where I'm in the middle of the scene, I sit down to write it and try to tie into what I just thought about and it doesn't work anymore. So what I started to do is whenever I can, I basically stop myself from starting to develop the scene and sit down and do it on paper right there, like the first version of that scene while I'm writing it or I basically let it play out in my mind have sort of like a draft version but then when I sit down to write something I don't necessarily start with that scene specifically trying to recreate it I rather I sit down and write something random in the moment because that thing is fresh right and it kind of happens while you have the opportunity to write it down I no longer try to basically have like this finished thing in my head go and create it right on paper, try to force it out because that never works. Rather, I try to take a more slower way around it by easing into it, by writing something else first and then when I'm already there and basically I'm out of all the stuff that I just wrote, I can come back to the scene that I maybe have developed earlier just in my head. So that is something that I really liked when I read about it here because it illustrated very much this problem that I have myself where as soon as I kind of play through an idea in my head, the initial energy is to a degree gone. And now I try to store it, wait before I actually can sit down to write it and then try to develop it when I'm writing it. And then the third thing that I really liked is to have a list of your obsessions. So the idea here is that you write down what you're obsessed about at the moment. And that can be all kinds of stuff. So it could be kind of like you're obsessed with a certain story tone at the moment. So a certain character dynamic between two characters that you're really obsessed with or kind of like a pity aspect that the character is experiencing some sort of emotional high or low point. So those could be obsessions. Obsessions could be topics that you have, like a specific topic right now, certain gossip, drama, whatever. It doesn't have to be like a prestige kind of thing. It can be highly emotional, highly vague, but just know what your current obsessions are, what you are drawn to at the moment. Have them somewhere on paper so that you can see them because more likely than not in your writing you are focusing on bringing out those kinds of emotions and obsessions anyway. And by knowing what they are, basically you have a starting point and you are more clear on focusing in on them. So it gives you a very clear overview of what it is that you actually want to be focusing on right Right now and maybe what you actually want to be writing right now and a way to see it so that you can integrate it more consciously into your story and give your writing more energy because of it. So yeah, those are my three things from this book. I highlighted some other things like in all of these books there are many more things than just three things that I will probably come back to in some way in the future again. There are a lot of stuff in here that I want to adapt and try out now that I finally get what this book seems to be about. If you are looking for something like I described in the beginning of this video, I would definitely recommend this book just for the simple purpose that the person who wrote this book clearly cares a lot about writing, loves the art of writing, has a very passionate look on the art of writing and I find this really refreshing, especially in combination with books like Anatomy of Story that are so technical, giving you a large range of the writing practice and in what forms and so on it comes and is taught. So yeah, that's my review and I will see you next time. Bye guys.